So my name is Ditya. I'm the uh, co-founder of Crypt, and our tagline is that we're owned by no one and secure for everyone. Yeah, so what exactly is Crypt? Uh, Crypt is sort of the unsubpoenable document management system for law firms of all sizes. Uh, and we'll sort of dive a little bit more into what exactly unsubpoenable and all means. Uh, but the main sort of advantages of our, um, I guess, of our platform are that we're a cloud storage platform similar to any of the other, I guess, big names out there. Uh, except we're completely confidential, we're easy to use. Uh, we're based on a trustless infrastructure, especially by being based on uh, the IPFS and PowerPoint ecosystem, and we're extremely affordable. So what exactly is the problem? Um, our problem really boils down to, I guess, three different flaws with centralized cloud storage solutions out there. Uh, currently, a lot of law firms use uh, Dropbox or Clio or some other centralized cloud storage solution like that to manage all of their documents. Uh, but there are really two big problems with this, right? One is something called a secret subpoena, which is when some federal law enforcement agency or other governmental agency will effectively go behind the law firm's back and uh, subpoena their cloud storage provider directly. And since in the case of the vast majority of centralized cloud storage solutions, uh, the actual cloud storage platform holds the decryption keys to all of their users' data, the cloud storage platform is effectively forced to give up um, pretty confidential information about either the law firm or their clients. Uh, and just to show you how big of a problem this is, Microsoft is presented with around seven to 10 secrecy orders per day from various different federal law enforcement agencies. And Microsoft, Google, and Apple have all thrown their support behind various different proposals in Congress to deal with these data requests from law enforcement. So secret subpoenas are a pretty big issue, um, I guess, affecting law firms right now. But beyond that, another, I guess, flaw with a lot of the centralized cloud storage solutions that law firms use, especially Dropbox, is the sheer number of data leaks that centralized uh, cloud storage solutions have. So 29% of lawyers surveyed recently have reported that their firm at some point was a victim of a security breach. And on average, these data leaks can cost a law firm around $4 million, which is absolutely insane. The, the fact that almost a third of lawyers out there have been affected by some kind of sec uh, security breach. And I guess the last sort of footnote to the problems with the current cloud storage solutions that lawyers are using is that the vast majority of them use very legacy software that isn't really necessarily up to standard with what is possible with today's uh, technology, especially in the cybersecurity space. So we're sort of aiming to solve all of these problems by creating a completely confidential document management system for lawyers to use that's just as easy as these other platforms, uh, but at the same time can solve sort of these secret subpoena and data leak problems. So the exact way that we solve these problems really comes down to three different technologies, right? The first of these is localized encryption. Um, the second of these is elliptic curve cryptography, and the third is uh, being based on a decentralized storage network, which is the reason we're all here, IPFS. Uh, so diving into localized encryption, uh, what we do is instead of having server-side encryption, which is what a lot of the document management systems out there right now do, we actually have client-side uh, encryption for all of our documents, which means before a document uploaded to Crypt ever leaves a client's computer, it's already encrypted. And what this effectively does is since we don't have access to the decryption keys for that document, it makes us unsubpoenable. If a federal law enforcement agency was to come subpoena us tomorrow for one of our law firm's uh, documents, all we have on hand is just a sort of enc encrypted version of that document. We don't actually have access to the decrypted version. Uh, and on top of that, it makes our solution completely confidential and completely trustless. Since we don't actually have you know, any visibility into the documents that any of our law firms or their clients are uploading onto our platform. The second sort of technology that makes all of this possible is our use of elliptic curve cryptography. Uh, for those of you who aren't necessarily as familiar with crypto systems, uh, ECC is just a system like RSA or any other public private key system uh, where to boil it down, you basically have a public key and a private key and you can encrypt a piece of data with a public key, but then the only thing that can decrypt it is that private key. And ECC is actually the same technology that powers, for example, Bitcoin wallets. Um, so it's, a, it's an extremely secure cryptographic algorithm. Uh, and what we do with ECC is we effectively use it to sort of create user accounts, quote unquote, uh, where instead of users having to memorize all the different, you know, client side generated decryption keys for their various different files, these keys are all then encrypted by a certain ECC key pair that the client has. Um, and then the client can effectively use that ECC key pair. So instead of having to remember all these different decryption keys, they can just use one key pair to retrieve all of their uh, keys to unlock the various different documents. And the last technology that makes our entire tech stack possible is the reason we're all here, IPFS. Um, our, I guess, choice to partner with IPFS really came down to three different reasons. Uh, first off, we're aiming to be, you know, a completely confidential and completely trustless um, software. And that really just matches the values of the whole file phone and IPFS ecosystem. 
with this whole concept of like moving away from these huge centralized monoliths in the cloud storage space and towards a more trustless model that gives data ownership back to the people who should actually own that data. Uh, the second reason we decided to partner with IPFS is because it's proven to be an incredibly reliable network. Um, you know, every single file that I've uploaded into IPFS through Crypt uh, is replicating on at least a couple of different uh, nodes across the world, which means that the chances of that file just disappearing are next to zero. And the last reason we decided to partner, or I guess build our entire solution on Filecoin is because it's incredibly cheap. Filecoin advertises that they're way, way cheaper than, um, I guess, the big centralized monoliths of the cloud storage space like AWS S3. Uh, and so being based on a cheaper storage network just allows us to advertise cheaper prices to our, uh, to our clients. Uh, why are we doing this and why now? Um, it really comes down to the fact that law firms have a huge amount of concern about the security of the cloud storage they're using. Uh, especially because attorney client privilege is just a huge, huge deal in the legal space. And maintaining that is an incredibly important thing, especially when it comes to the documents that lawyers are, you know, uploading on uh, onto these various different cloud storage platforms, which could potentially be pretty confidential documents. Uh, and because of the importance of security and confidentiality in the legal space and the lack of privacy that exists in a lot of centralized cloud storage solutions out there, we think that you know, taking the sort of values of decentralized clouds, the decentralized data storage, like trustlessness and complete confidentiality, and bringing it to the legal space is sort of the right next move. And on top of that, the cloud storage space is an incredibly rapidly growing space. And so we think that right now is the sort of right time to take all of the incredible technical innovations that have been happening in, happening in decentralized data storage and bring it over to the legal space, which is traditionally considered a pretty sticky industry. Our plans are basically now just to partner with a larger law firm and create some kind of pilot program to test out our software on a sort of larger scale. On top of that, we've been sort of in the talks with our first couple of law firms actually using Crypt. Um, but up to now, all of this has been completely for free for those law firms. We're basically just aiming to onboard more law firms and potentially actually get some paying customers. Uh, beyond that, we just want to grow our team a bit more. We have a ton of new features we want to add. And so hiring more, uh, hiring more devs is a very, very... Uh, important part of, I guess, our next couple of steps. Uh, and lastly, we want to grow a community around what we're doing that believes in sort of the values of confidentiality and trustlessness in cloud storage. And so building that community and building up a system with 24-7 customer and technical support for all of our clients is another uh, major next step that we're striving towards. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you.